Well hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Wild Garden and in this video stick around because I've got some important news to share with you guys and I've also come to this location to show you that. Now what about that for a view hey? Eh? <laughs> That is just exquisite. I'm actually in Derbyshire. I'm on the edge of the Derbyshire Dales, a beautiful part of the English landscape and one that is strewn with, well, dry stone walls and sheep. <laughs> and there's lambs everywhere. And at this time of year in early June, it is just alive. Everywhere you look, there is life. And I'm sure it is where you guys are around the world as well. It's absolutely the time of year, spring going into early summer, where we are absolutely just riddled with wildlife. What a horrific situation to have. It's great, there's birds feeding chicks everywhere, lambs bleating behind me. <laughs> Uh, and it's just a wonderful time of year and the wildflowers of course at the moment are really starting to come into their own. My favourite wildflower, the bird's foot trefoil, I've just seen down this little track down here which I absolutely love seeing and it's one that is obviously a larval food plant for many species. Anyway, we're not here to talk about all that. This video is a little bit about you guys and it's with um, a little bit of info from me as well as to what's coming up from the channel, what I've been up to, because I just wanted to reconnect with you guys. Um, a lot of the videos obviously I do where I'm going around these places and filming various projects and garden tours and all the rest of it, but I don't get a chance to sit and talk to you guys. It'd be great in a way if all 50, 7,000 or whatever we're on now of you brilliant people were sat in front of me, but I think it might take a little while to uh, answer all your potential questions. Anyway, what I would like to share with you guys today is the fact that at the end of this month, I'm getting married. Now, I know some of you may have known this already from a previous post I did back when I was in Panama. I proposed to Nikki in, well, on one of the islands, actually, the Zapatiers, two little islands, beautiful place where I proposed. And unfortunately for her, she said yes. So yes, at the end of June, I shall be getting married. So I'll be taking a little bit of time out, guys. So early July, I'm off on somewhere special. I can't obviously say where that is at the moment, just in case Nikki sees this video. But I am whisking her away for a week. So I'm really, really looking forward to that. It's been a manic start to the year. I've been all over the country, but I'm here in Derbyshire, actually working on a stream I am creating uh, kind of two little mini wildlife ponds interlinked with a stream that runs downhill to a wildlife pond at the bottom. Sounds extravagant and it's been a bit of an undertaking, but I can't wait to share that one with you guys. Um, and I've also recently just done a uh, garden tour on the garden that I'm working in. For those of you that are regular viewers of the channel, you will have seen that video that I posted a few days ago, which has had a tremendous amount of views in a few days. It's really brilliant. And a lot of you have been saying you'd love to see more of this. So which leads me on to my next question, which is I would love to know from you guys what you'd like to see more of from the channel. I know I've asked this before, but the audience is changing all the time. I mean, it seems like two minutes ago we were on 50,000 subscribers. Now there's at least 7,000 more of you. So I'm very conscious that you guys are watching these, these videos, not me so much. Um, and you're the ones that are obviously benefiting from the information I provide or enjoying the content that I produce. So I just want to know what you guys like seeing the most. And with that garden tour, it really got me thinking about maybe doing some more garden tours. And if obviously you know of any wildlife gardens that are of a particular interest to you or particularly good for wildlife in your area, then do get in touch. Um, drop us an email wild your garden uh, sorry inquiries at wildyourgarden.com then obviously i can maybe go and see some of these gardens because i think we all love seeing what other people have got within their gardens and that's the whole reason we're here is it not wild your garden wildlife gardens it's the whole ethos behind the channel so i'm sure those of you would love to see more garden tours i know i've been doing some of my own and obviously if you are new to the channel and you haven't seen any then do check out on the playlist my garden there's a little uh, playlist called my garden where i have lots of tours on the recent front wildlife garden that i have been making which is just alive at the moment it's really coming into life i've had two brand new species of Odonata visit my garden and make it their home. And they are the damselflies that are uh, the azure, uh, azure damselfly and the blue tail damselfly, which are absolutely beautiful little bright electric blue uh, damselflies. 
which have now colonized the pond. I've physically seen them egg laying in the water. So it's absolutely brilliant to see them doing this within my mini, mini, mini wildlife pond, my little formal pond, which is only 1.8 meters by uh, 1.4 meters ish. So really, really chuffed about that. So yes, do check that out and obviously subscribe if you haven't already guys and hit that notification bell. Then you'll get notified every time I post a new video, which oh, until now, <clears throat> there or thereabouts has been twice a week, uh, which is on a Wednesday and a Sunday. Uh, but I must admit from here on in, I will be working away pretty much Monday to Friday, sometimes Saturdays from when I get back <laughs> from my mini honeymoon, um, early July, right the way through until October. So obviously it means it takes me out of action um, in terms of spending time with my family during the week a lot. And I, you know, it's, it's such a hard, uh, well, it's not a hard life, but it's such, uh, it's very hard being away from my family a lot of the time. And obviously creating these videos takes a tremendous amount of work to bring you guys two videos a week on a Wednesday and a Sunday, 6 p.m., as you guys already know that are viewers of the channel for a long time. So I wanted to run an idea past you, and that is that I am thinking about monetizing the channel a little more to allow me more time to put into these videos and allow me uh, the ability to respond to you guys and everything else, because as I'm sure you can imagine, it takes a long time to respond to you all. And I'm very sorry if I do miss any comments, I try and go through all the comments that I get systematically. But obviously when I'm running around the country, creating habitats for wildlife, editing the videos, carrying out consultations, designing uh, gardens for people, running the online shop along with uh, Jody and Dawn as well, who are doing brilliant work behind the scenes to keep all of this, all of these cogs in motion. Obviously it does take a heck of a lot of time. So I just thought I'd run that idea by you guys. Would you be interested in paying say uh, a small fee every month for additional content? So whether that's shorts, whether that's um, uh, an extra video, which obviously I, I'm very conscious if you guys are paying for a service, I want it to be uh, maintained at the level you expect. I don't want to let any of you guys down. So I won't uh, overstretch myself, but I just thought I would run it by you. What would you like to see? And would you be interested in paying to see extra content? Uh, because as I say, guys, it is just so demanding keeping up with two videos a week. So what I'd like to do as a minimum, don't panic for those of you that are thinking, well, I'm not paying to watch your videos. This is YouTube, it's free. That's fine. It's not an obligation, obviously, but um, I will, for those of you that don't want to pay, obviously I will be still posting one video a week on a Sunday, regular content for you guys. But I'm just exploring the avenues as to what you guys would like to see in terms of short videos and other content moving forward. So yes, and potentially in the future when things calm down a little bit, uh, particularly into the autumn, I'm hopefully going to be starting one or two lives again. Um, but I just thought, you know, maybe you guys would like to see a kind of a more daily vlog type experience on the channel, what I get up to, short videos of where I am, um, which obviously don't take uh, a lot of time to edit and I can upload them more frequently. So yeah, I'm just very intrigued as to how we can help monetize the channel to give you guys more content and to, and to enable me to carry on making these videos for you. Because at the end of the day, it is an absolute pleasure. And seeing some of the comments that you guys leave, seeing some of the emails that you send in of your photos, of your wildlife ponds that you've made, of everything else you've done. And don't worry, I haven't forgotten. I'm still working on the wildlife ponds video that you guys have obviously submitted over 150 uh, photos and videos from all around the world of all the different ponds that you guys have built, which is absolutely fabulous, but it's obviously taking me a long time to compile those. Um, and obviously things are so seasonal at the moment. I like to try and keep things seasonal uh, to give you guys the top tips as we move through the year. So things like the shady border plants, the best nectar plants, uh, plants for your pond, all this sort of stuff. And that just kind of pushes all the other older videos back a little bit because of course it's more relevant for the time of year that we're in. So uh, yeah, so I'm sorry this video is a little bit of a rambling video guys but i just wanted to touch base with you i wanted to talk to you about what's coming coming up on the channel what i'm looking to do with the channel and yes share with you the rather good news for me anyway <laughs> that uh, i will be getting married at the end of the month so i'll be taking a little bit of time out so there might be a little bit of a, a delay in a couple of the videos in early july while i am taking a break 
away from it all and it's somewhere quite serene so maybe even a little i might sneak a video in my no, i shouldn't even go there no <laughs> anyway yes thank you so much as always guys for watching let me know your thoughts let me know what you think about the potential changes to the channel and yes i would love to hear from you so from a beautiful evening here in derbyshire it's goodbye from me goodbye from the sheep and goodbye from this fabulous view where and i will be bringing you one more video by the way just before i go of the village where i'm currently staying uh, to carry out these works because it is possibly the most quaint village i have ever seen it's just chocolate box the streets are so narrow i can barely even get my van down them there's nowhere to park and it's on a hillside it's just dry stone walls plants cascading out of the walls left right and center it is just beautiful so hopefully within the next couple of days when i get a sunny evening i'm going to film you guys a full tour of this beautiful little village because it is really something quite stunning so anyway i hope this video has given you guys some ideas of what's coming up as i say drop some comments below and i'll be sure to do my best to answer them and thank you so much guys for the support as always Take care and I'll see you all very soon.